What's up everyone? Welcome back to the 31 Faces of Halloween here on my channel. Today we're transforming ourselves into Daenerys Targaryen from the Game of Thrones. I'm starting off with moisturizing my face. Her skin is like flawless and perfect. So you want to start off with a very moisturized base. I'm then taking this Grande Lips Lip Plumper. Her lips are pretty voluptuous so I'm starting with plumping my lips and letting that work while we're doing the rest of our face. I'm then priming my lids with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. We're not doing much with eyeshadow today, but it does give a nice base, so... Taking my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette, they have some really nice gray toned shadows in here, and that's a great way to contour. You want to use more gray tones opposed to warm tones, because contouring is more about shadows. Shadows are not orange, they are gray. So I'm just taking this grayish neutral shade and I am creating a line above my crease, like way above my crease. I was looking at a reference picture of Daenerys, so I'm just going off of that basically. Taking a larger angled brush, I'm using this LA Slash Cosmetics Ultra Defined Brows in Dahlia and I'm creating my brows really thick. Daenerys has super thick brows, they're pretty straight. There's not much of an arch in there, there's not much of a skinny tail, they're very thick and bushy, so I'm just really creating those fake hairs by going up in an angle and going straight up with light strokes. Then taking my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, I'm making all of my hairs go straight up. Again, I was looking at a reference picture of her, and her brows are pretty straight up, thick and bushy. They look fabulous on her though, and they are much darker than her hair. So even though she's blonde, her brows are still super, super dark. Taking my Boing concealer from Benefit, this is the airbrush one. I'm just using a little bit, and I'm creating a slight arch on the bottom, like the tiniest arch, just to make them look more feminine. We don't want any Instagram brows, nothing like that. We want them to look pretty hairy and bushy. Then I am taking this warmer shade and I'm going right in my crease very lightly. Her eyes are a little bit more straight and not as round as mine, so I'm just trying to give that straight effect. And then taking my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm applying this to my whole face. This is a really good primer to make your face look nice and smooth, just like Daenerys. Today we're using the Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation. It's fabulous. It is more of a lightweight foundation in my opinion, at least. I wear very full coverage foundations, so I thought this would be perfect for Daenerys' look. I did do two coats of this foundation all together because, like I said, I can't stay away from the full coverage look. And then I'm using the Bobbi Brown Concealer. It's the Instant Full Cover Concealer. It's a little dry. I'm not a huge fan of this, but since I wasn't using a ton of concealer like I normally do, it wasn't too bad for a lightweight, light-wearing concealer. And I did highlight all the areas that Daenerys has highlighted as well. I mean, she's obviously wearing makeup, so I did want to replicate the way her face is highlighted. She has a much larger nose than I do. Not larger, but wider. Her chin's pretty brought forward and her forehead is highlighted very well as well. So I'm just highlighting all those areas with concealer. And then I'm using my Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm just setting all those areas like I normally would. Taking the first gray shade we used in the eyes, I am putting that underneath of my eyes. So I'm not really smoking it out from the lash line, but I'm almost going underneath to create sort of a bag. She does have some little lines on the bottom of her eyes. I don't really know how to explain it, but if you look at a reference picture of her, you can kind of see these little tiny bags on the bottom of her eyes. So I'm just replicating that by going all the way from the outer corner into the inner corner. And then I'm doing the same thing with the same shade. I'm kind of replicating her contouring on her face. So bringing the shading down from her eyebrows onto her nose, making my nose look a little bit whiter than it actually at is. And following that all the way down to the tip of my nose. Also shading my cupid's bow. And I'm shading around my lips because her lips are a lot bigger than mine. So I want to kind of give the illusion 
of larger lips. And then I'm just taking that shadow again where the eyebrows are at to make my nose look a little bit wider and I'm also shading below my lip for more of a pouted kind of look. Like I said, her lips are so big, need to make that illusion. Then I'm taking my Kat Von D shade in light palette and I am contouring. I'm not blending up, I'm more so blending downwards and I'm trying to make my cheekbones look a little bit more prominent than they actually are. And I'm also contouring my jawline a lot. She has more of a square jaw than I do, so I'm just trying to create that illusion that my jaw is a little bit more square than it actually is. Taking my fine line liquid liner from Sephora, I'm creating the slightest thinnest little line on my lid, just my top lid, and I'm going right along my lash line. I'm not making a crazy cat eye, I'm not making it thick. I just kind of want to make my eyes pop, want to kind of define them. I don't want to make it look like I'm wearing eyeliner. I curled my lashes and now I'm taking my Marc Jacobs mascara and I'm putting mascara on my top lashes and a tiny, tiny bit on my bottom lashes. Her bottom lashes are not too dramatic so I'm just doing a little bit there on the bottom. And of course she doesn't wear fake eyelashes so I mean we're not going to do that either. Then I'm just taking some dark brown and just kind of shading the outer corners of the bottom part of my eye and then I'm tight lining with a black pencil on my top lash line. I'm now taking a white shadow and I'm highlighting my nose. It's a matte shadow. I'm not using any sparkly or shimmery stuff. I'm just highlighting my nose to make that illusion of it being more wide and I'm also highlighting my cupid's bow, my chin, and my forehead and then I'm also doing a little point on the bottom part of my nose because I noticed her nose is a little bit more pointed than mine. And then I'm making my nostrils a little bit smaller. They're not as wide as mine. Her nose is wider than mine, but her nostrils are smaller than mine, if that makes sense. I hope it does. Then I'm just doing a little bit of that darker shade I did on the bottom lash line, just in my outer part of my crease. And then she has some shading on the inner corner of her eyes, so I'm just creating that illusion again with the gray neutral shade. She's got some little smile pockets on the side of her mouth, so I'm just creating those with the same shade and then using my finger to tap it out so it's not too harsh. And then just making that line on the bottom part of my lash line a little bit more dramatic. Moving on to lips, I'm overlining a little bit more so on the corners of my mouth and not my cupid's bow or the bottom lip. Her lips are a little bit more straight and not so curved like mine are on the outer parts of the top lip. And I'm using my NYX lip liner. This is in Peekaboo Neutral. I'm lining my lips with this and I'm also filling them in. She doesn't wear a crazy color. She doesn't look like she wears liquid lipstick. I mean, come on. We know what century. Game of Thrones is in. So I'm just using a more neutral shade. It still ended up being a little dark and kind of too pink, so I did kind of tap it out with my finger just to lift the color a little bit. And that's it for the pretty Daenerys. Very simple, super easy to do for Halloween. Just get a white blonde wig with some braids in it. You could do an updo even, and I'll link where I got the wig at down in the description box. Now we're going to move on to the bloody heart-eating Daenerys. I have this huge fake heart that I bought from a costume shop down in downtown Denver. I've had it for a while. I used it for my Queen of Hearts look I did for the NYX Face Awards. So I am repurposing it and I'm using stage blood that I got from Party City, Mayron stage blood, and thick blood. And also some cotton pads and some q-tips because you can't use blood without those. First, I'm taking the fake stage blood. This is more of a non-realistic type of red blood. It's really lightweight. It kind of it feels like water almost. So I'm just using this as a base of red, putting it all over my face and down my neck and my chest. 
And then I'm taking the Mehron stage blood, which is so much more realistic, so much more thick, runny, deeper red, and I'm putting that all around my mouth even more and more going down my neck. This stuff will not dry, so it will stay goopy and it will keep moving and flowing down wherever you put it. So just keep that in mind if you do decide to use stage blood for anything, it does not dry. I'm putting it all around my lips like I just got done eating that nasty heart. And then I took the thick blood with a Q-tip and just kind of moved it around just to get some thick pieces of gross blood. Like there's thick pieces of meat that came out of the heart or whatever. And just kind of put some on my nose too, like it got really messy. Then I put stage blood all over my hands and I put some stage blood on the fake heart and I took some pictures. You could even do that for Halloween, but just know the blood really does get everywhere. So just keep that in mind. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you're subscribed to see all of my Halloween looks, and I'll catch you in my next tutorial. See you later.